Australian Capital Territory is a territory in the southeast of Australia, enclaved within New South Wales. It is the smaller of the two self-governing internal territories in Australia. The only city and by far the most populous community is Canberra, the capital city of Australia. The need for a national territory was flagged by colonial delegates during the Federation Conventions of the late 19th century. Section 125 of the Australian Constitution provided that, following Federation in 1901, land would be ceded freely to the new federal government. The territory was transferred to the Commonwealth by the State of New South Wales in 1911, two years prior to the naming of Canberra as the national capital in 1913. The floral emblem of the ACT is the Royal Bluebell and the bird emblem is the Gang Gang Cockatoo. Geography the ACT is bounded by the Goulburn Cooma Railway Line in the east, the watershed of Nars Creek in the south, the watershed of the Cotton River in the west, and the watershed of the Malonglo River in the northeast. The ACT also has a small strip of territory around the southern end of the Beecroft Peninsula, which is the northern headland of Jervis Bay. Apart from the city of Canberra, the Australian Capital Territory also contains agricultural land and a large area of national park much of it mountainous and forested. Small townships and communities located within the ACT include Williamsdale, Nars, Uriara, Thawa and Hall. Tidbinbilla is a locality to the southwest of Canberra that features the Tidbinbilla Nature Reserve and the Canberra Deep Space Communication Complex, operated by the United States National Aeronautics and Space Administration as part of its deep space network. There are a large range of mountains, rivers and creeks in the Namaji National Park. These include the Nars and Murrumbidgee rivers. Climate, because of its elevation 650 metres and distance from the coast, the Australian Capital Territory experiences four distinct seasons, unlike many other Australian cities whose climates are moderated by the sea. Canberra is noted for its warm to hot, dry summers, and cold winters with occasional fog and frequent frosts. Many of the higher mountains in the territory's southwest are snow-covered for at least part of the winter. Thunderstorms can occur between October and March, and annual rainfall is 623 m, with rainfall highest in spring and summer and lowest in winter. The highest maximum temperature recorded in the ACT was 42.8 AA degrees Celsius at Acton on January 11, 1939. The lowest minimum temperature was a 14.6 AA degree Celsius at Gudgeonby on July 11, 1971. Geology Notable geological formations in the Australian Capital Territory include the Canberra Formation, the Pitman Formation, Black Mountain Sandstone and State Circle Shale. In the 1840s fossils of brachiopods and trilobites from the Silurian period were discovered at Walsh Creek near Duntroon. At the time, these were the oldest fossils discovered in Australia, though this record has now been far surpassed. Other specific geological places of interest include the State Circle Cutting and the Deakin Anticline. The oldest rocks in the ACT date from the Ordovician around 480 million years ago. During this period the region along with most of eastern Australia was part of the ocean floor. Formations from this period include the Black Mountain Sandstone Formation and the Pitman Formation consisting largely of quartz-rich sandstone, siltstone and shale. These formations became exposed when the ocean floor was raised by a major volcanic activity in the Devonian forming much of the east coast of Australia. Governance The ACT has internal self-government but Australia's constitution does not afford the territory government the full legislative independence provided to Australian states. Laws are made in a 17-member legislative assembly that combines both state and local government functions. Members of the legislative assembly are elected via the Hare Clark system. The ACT chief minister is elected by members of the ACT assembly. The ACT government chief minister is a member of the Council of Australian Governments. And like other self-governing Australian territories, the ACT does not have an administrator. The Crown is represented by the Australian Governor-General in the government of the ACT. Until December 4, 2011, the decisions of the Assembly could be overruled by the Governor-General under Section 35 of the Australian Capital Territory Act 1988, 
although the federal parliament voted in 2011 to abolish this veto power, instead requiring a majority of both houses of the federal parliament to override an enactment of the ACT. The chief minister performs many of the roles that a state governor normally holds in the context of a state. However, the Speaker of the Legislative Assembly gazettes the laws and summons meetings of the Assembly. In Australia's federal parliament, the ACT is represented by four federal members, two members of the House of Representatives. The Division of Fraser and the Division of Canberra and is one of only two territories to be represented in the Senate, with two senators. The member for Fraser and the ACT senators also represent the constituents of the Jervis Bay Territory. In 1915 the Jervis Bay Territory Acceptance Act 1915 created the Jervis Bay Territory as an annex to the Australian Capital Territory. In 1988, when the ACT gained self-government, Jervis Bay became a separate territory administered by the Australian Government Minister responsible for territories, presently the Minister for Home Affairs. The ACT retains a small area of territory on the coast on the Beecroft Peninsula, consisting of a strip of coastline around the northern headland of Jervis Bay. The ACT's land on the Beecroft Peninsula is an exclave, that is, an area of territory not physically connected to the main part of the ACT. Interestingly, this ACT exclave surrounds a small exclave of NSW territory, namely the Point Perpendicular Lighthouse which is at the southern tip of the Beecroft Peninsula. The lighthouse and its grounds are New South Wales Territory, but cut off from the rest of the state by the strip of ACT land. This is a geographic curiosity, an exclave of NSW land enclosed by an exclave of ACT land. Administration ACT ministers implement their executive powers through the following government directorates, Health Directorate, Chief Minister's Directorate, Community Services Directorate, Economic Development Directorate, Education and Training Directorate, Environment and Sustainable Development Directorate, Justice and Community Safety Directorate, Territory and Municipal Services Directorate, Treasury Directorate, Demographics. In the 2011 census the population of the ACT was 357,222 of whom most lived in Canberra. The ACT median weekly income for people aged over 15 was in the range $600 a Euro $699 while that for the population living outside Canberra was at the national average of $400 a Euro $499. The average level of degree qualification in the ACT is higher than the national average. Within the ACT 4.5% of the population have a postgraduate degree compared to 1.8% across the whole of Australia. Urban Structure Canberra is a planned city that was originally designed by Walter Burley Griffin, a major 20th century American architect. Major roads follow a wheel and spoke pattern rather than a grid. The city centre is laid out on two perpendicular axes, a water axis stretching along Lake Burley Griffin, and a ceremonial land axis stretching from Parliament House on Capitol Hill northeastward along ANZAC Parade to the Australian War Memorial at the foot of Mount Ainsley. The area known as the Parliamentary Triangle is formed by three of Burley Griffin's axes, stretching from Capitol Hill along Commonwealth Avenue to the Civic Centre around City Hill along Constitution Avenue to the Defence Precinct on Russell Hill, and along Kings Avenue back to Capitol Hill. The larger scheme of Canberra's layout is based on the three peaks surrounding the city, Mount Ainsley, Black Mountain, and Red Hill. The main symmetrical axis of the city is along ANZAC Parade and roughly on the line between Mount Ainsley and Bimberry Peak. Bimberry Peak being the highest mountain in the ACT approximately 52 km southwest of Canberra. The precise alignment of ANZAC parade is between Mount Ainsley and Capitol Hill. The Griffins assigned spiritual values to Mount Ainsley, Black Mountain, and Red Hill and originally planned to cover each of these in flowers. That way each hill would be covered with a single, primary color which represented its spiritual value. This part of their plan never came to fruition. In fact, WWI interrupted the construction and some conflicts after the war made it a difficult process for the Griffins. Nevertheless, Canberra stands as an exemplary city design and is located halfway between the ski slopes and the beach. 
it enjoys a natural cooling from geophysical factors. The urban areas of Canberra are organized into a hierarchy of districts, town centers, group centers, local suburbs as well as other industrial areas and villages. There are seven districts, each of which is divided into smaller suburbs, and most of which have a town center which is the focus of commercial and social activities. The districts were settled in the following chronological order, North Canberra, mostly settled in the 1920s and 30s, with expansion up to the 1960s, now 14 suburbs, South Canberra, settled from the 1920s to 60s, 13 suburbs, Wadden Valley, first settled in 1963, 12 suburbs, Belkanen, first settled in 1967, 25 suburbs, Western Creek, settled in 1969, 8 suburbs, Tuggeranong, settled in 1974, 19 suburbs, Gungalin, settled in the early 1990s, 18 suburbs although only 12 are developed or under development, Malonglo Valley, first suburbs currently under construction. The North and South Canberra districts are substantially based on Walter Burley Griffin's designs. In 1967 the then National Capital Development Commission adopted the Y Plan, which laid out future urban development in Canberra around a series of central shopping and commercial area known as the town centres linked by freeways, the layout of which roughly resembled the shape of the letter Y, with Tuggeranong at the base of the Y and Belkanen and Gungalin located at the ends of the arms of the Y. Development in Canberra has been closely regulated by government, both through the town planning process, but also through the use of Crown lease terms that have tightly limited the use of parcels of land. All land in the ACT is held on 99-year leases from the national government, although most leases are now administered by the territory government. Most suburbs have their own local shops, and are located close to a larger shopping centre serving a group of suburbs. Community facilities and schools are often also located near local shops or group shopping centres. Many of Canberra's suburbs are named after former Prime Ministers, famous Australians, early settlers, or use Aboriginal words for their title. Street names typically follow a particular theme. For example, the streets of Duffy are named after Australian dams and reservoirs, the streets of Dunlop are named after Australian inventions inventors and artists and the streets of Page are named after biologists and naturalists. Most diplomatic missions are located in the suburbs of Yarralumla, Deakin and O'Malley. There are three light industrial areas, the suburbs of Fyshik, Mitchell and Hume. Education Almost all educational institutions in the Australian Capital Territory are located within Canberra. The ACT public education system schooling is normally split up into preschool, primary school, high school and college followed by studies at university or CIT. Many private high schools include years 11 and 12 and are referred to as colleges. Children are required to attend school until they turn 17 under the ACT government's learn or earn policy. In February 2004 there were 140 public and non-governmental schools in Canberra. 96 were operated by the government and 44 are non-government. In 2005 there were 60,275 students in the ACT school system 59.3% of the students were enrolled in government schools with the remaining 40.7% in non-government schools. There were 30,995 students in primary school, 19,211 in high school, 9,429 in college and a further 340 in special schools. As of May 2004, 30% of people in the ACT aged 15 a Euro 64 had a level of educational attainment equal to at least a bachelor's degree, significantly higher than the national average of 19%. The two main tertiary institutions are the Australian National University in Acton and the University of Canberra in Bruce. There are also two religious university campuses in Canberra. Synodore is a campus of the Australian Catholic University and St. Mark's Theological College is a campus of Charles Sturt University. Tertiary-level vocational education is also available through the multi-campus Canberra Institute of Technology. The Australian Defence Force Academy and the Royal Military College, Duntroon are in the suburb of Campbell and Canberra's inner northeast. 
ADFA teaches military undergraduates and postgraduates and is officially a campus of the University of New South Wales while Duntroon provides Australian Army officer training. The Academy of Interactive Entertainment offers courses in computer game development and 3D animation. See also Australia, Outline of Australia, Index of Australia-related articles, Book, Australia, History of the Australian Capital Territory, Revenue Stamps of the Australian Capital Territory. Notes. References. External links, Statistical Subdivisions of the Australian Capital Territory.